Break town of silver here. Well, this is the day I've been waiting for. I don't know if anybody else has, but this is the day to do the gall. Uh, before I get to that, let me uh, show you my, what I picked up this morning. Another almost antique. This is a uh, official fine silver commemorative medallions expo. These are uh, half ounce rounds. Well, they might even be in dollars. I don't know. This is uh, Expo Ernie. He's from the 1986 World Exposition, Vancouver, Canada. So I'm not sure. I guess that's the Expo, not in the Olympics. And then there's some others here. They all got the same back. 1986 World Exposition. These are 34 years old. Expo 86. I'm not sure what that picture is. You got a bowl on something. A sailboat out there. Mountains in the background. OP and W and Mailman ought to like that background. Here's another one. The BC Pavilion. Probably can't see these real good, but there's half there's 0.999 silver. I guess that's the pavilion building there. It looks like an airplane flying above top of it. Vancouver. And this one is the Expo Center. We got a hot air balloon, some other kind of spear there. I guess you could always blow them up and see what they looked like. I thought they was pretty neat. Matter of fact, I kind of thought they were so neat, I went ahead and bought two of them. These, uh, like I say, two ounces of silver in the, in the box there. Anyway, I thought you might like to see something since uh, you guys are all into silver. And down to the goal. I've got 14 people who qualified. So we get down here. We got Shane Hurlburts, number one. I mean, this ain't exactly how they came in, but this is how I wrote them down. Silver Trooper, number two. Mailman AG, also known as Cliff Craven on Cheers. Aussie Coin Girl, also known as Sally, down under. Trust the Process KB. Don't know much about him. Sherry Wood, she's really a... Uh, Sherry Ward. She's really uh, a stranger to me. I don't know anything about her. Nor do I know anything about out A Mike Swore Adzakari, Sujan Sheka. I don't know them. Inefficient Stacker, also known as Fish. Everybody knows Fish. He's got everybody going to that 100 piece gold. What do you call it? Anyway, you get 100 pieces of gold and you in his contest. Got Jake H. Chris W, David's Gone Gnarly, Rob's Cool Coins, and Bricktown Silver, whoever who that joker is. I just didn't like to have 13, so I added a name there. See if I'm lucky. <laughs> I ain't never won a goal yet. Let's see, we want to turn this backwards there a little ways. All stirred up. It's one of these marbles that's got a number on it up to 14. And then we'll kick one out. There it went. It kind of went over the side. And the winner is number four. I think that was Bricktown Silver.
Yep, Bricktown Silver, another Aussie coin girl. Whoo, she's way down under. I don't know if the Mailman AG is going to be able to get that to her or not. But uh, Aussie coin girl, let me know something. Wow. That is a ways away. Well, I thank you all for participating. Uh, kind of a new thing for me. I don't really... Uh, know what I'm doing on this stuff. You know me, I'm all messed up. Now, anyway, I had fun doing it, but did I show you that number? Number four. And that was, again, Aussie Coin Girl. I gave her a shout-out, too. You know, she's having a uh, uh, 250 subscriber goal going on. And I think that every person who even subscribes to her channel, she's going to send them something. And like I said in my other video, I sure hope you got deep pockets, Aussie, because you're going to get the subscribers, I'm sure. Well, thank you all for watching. This is Bricktown Silver. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Wash your hands. And please, don't spit on the sidewalk. And don't be starting any fires, either. <laughs>